is up, Trainters? Ludo here, back with another fabulous episode of Pokemon Go, and today I try to solo a Deoxys. That's right, unfortunately for me, love is not in the air. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Uh, by the time you're watching this, this might be uh, yesterday, but I hope you had a great Valentine's Day regardless. Pokemon Go has announced in their game a brand new Valentine's Day event. The event features pink Pokemon such as Clefairy, Hopip, and Love Disc to appear more frequently in the wild along with many other pink styled Pokemon. Certain pink Pokemon will be hatching out of 7km eggs, including the brand new Hapni and Shiny Smoochum and Shiny Cleffa. And raid bosses such as Chansey and a Porygon can be found out and about. For the event, uh, lure modules will last six hours and you get two times the candies on catches. The event runs from technically yesterday, the 13th, to February 21st, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So get out there, get some pink mons. The other shiny in-game we do have for pink mons is Love Disc. So uh, some good shiny options for this event. Get out there, hatch some eggs. Be sure to be checking all of those Love Discs that you can. But that's about it for this event. A lot of people are a little bit underwhelmed because uh, it's not the greatest event, but you cannot expect every event from Niantic to be mind-blowing. So here's one of their more calmer events to keep things active in the game. And regardless, I appreciate it because it's another event and I don't have to deal with normal spawns. Being it Valentine's Day as well, a lot of people go out and buy their significant others special things. Well, I have here a brand new kitty kitty. Met me at home when I got home from my Deoxys. So on Valentine's Day, my Deoxys gave to me a per ugly at 587 CP. It kind of rhymed. Anyways, we have uh, Perugly here. I have not evolved my Glam Meow, so this is perfect. Registration here, we've got uh, 587 CP. That's really not that high at all. Uh, I'm gonna switch to, it's not registering that it's got the candy. Uh-oh, I have been sitting on this for a minute. I hope it doesn't. I have a bad feeling that it's gonna do that thing. Please don't. Oh, no, it did. It did. Oh, no. Okay, restarted. It was still there. Thank the alert. Okay, so now we're going to switch to an Ultra Ball. Now we're going to throw it, and now we're going to catch it. Gosh, that was a little stressful there. I uh, honestly freaked out and buried a little bit. Not like it's not the end of the world and I can't get it anywhere else, but it's my Valentine Kitty, and I want it. Damn it. One, two, two, don't do this, bro. I mean, I will use a silver pineapple if I really, really have to. I can't get a good throw on it for one. That's not very good. Two, three, there we go. Thank you. Yes, in the bag, in the registration. That's gonna look good. Look at it, it's so kind of cute. Wait, its tail goes up to its midsection? Well, that's very interesting. Does its tail hair like wrap around its body or something? Moment of truth may not be that great, oh well. Perugly in the decks though, so yay, got that taken care of. The other thing we got in our decks and collection today was attack form Deoxys. So, as I said, I did try to solo it. I tried my hardest. I'm sorry I was not able to do it. I have let you down. I've let myself down. I can't believe that at level 40, I still cannot solo an attack form Deoxys. I got so close each time and I tried different teams each time because the first time I don't think I went in with the right stuff at all. The second time I did do better but when I went in to rejoin I forgot that I didn't have a team set and I wasted some time 
reselecting the correct Pokemon. So I wasn't able to do it. One last person did show up. They weren't able to solo it either. So we duoed it together. Thankfully, uh, super easy to duo attack form here. So 1454, it's actually not that bad. Simply amazing attack, defense, and blown. So I couldn't be more happy. This is near perfect. I'm very satisfied with my first one. I couldn't solo it, but that is the next uh, goal. I really want to figure out how to solo it. I watched a bunch of Kato No Lands videos, and I thought, like, especially watching her Alakazams uh, all just at uh, 3,000 CP, she was able to solo them with those, but you know, she's probably got the perfect moveset for every single one of them. She, I noticed she did dodge quite a bit. So, uh, you know, maybe there's some uh, strategy that I'm still missing the knowledge of. So I'm going to try it again once I can before this is gone. This isn't the only attack form Deoxys that I want. So we will go out there again. We will try it again next time. I will bring you along. The only time I didn't bring you along this time was one, I'll be honest, I woke up late. So I kind of had to like rush and go. It was also at the skate park that uh, I don't really like filming at because it's very, I'll just say it, transient filled. So uh, I didn't really want to record there and I wasn't really sure if I was actually going to be able to solo it. So here we are, 1454 Attack Form Deoxys. We've got it regardless and that's what matters. Okay, bouncing back to the Valentine stuff before we leave, want to check out uh, my dex entries. So I have Cleffa, and I have seen 26 of them. So, not a lot, but uh, the odds for babies are a little bit higher than normal, uh, than normal Pokemon. So, and then with Smoochum, I'm at 10. Very low with that one as well. But with Why Not, I've only seen 19, and I have two shiny Why Nots. So, who knows? I'm really hoping that I can get one of these shiny babies. I really like shiny Cleffa. It is so cute. Shiny Smoochum is pretty cute. I like uh, shiny Jinx better than uh, shiny Smoochum. And then we already have a shiny love disc already, but we are at 359, so we could maybe see a uh, potential another second shiny love disc here before the event ends. And then of course, I have not hatched a happening at all. So, much to do for these coming weeks with the Valentine's event. You have uh, Mamoswine weekend coming up, so with that you have three times Stardust, and then we have the Double Catch Candies for the Valentine event, so you're gonna get three times the Stardust and double the Catch Candies for your Swine Up Day, so it's gonna be intense. And the six hour lures, because it's not just the three hour lures, it's the six hour lures. So, this is gonna be a fun weekend. Uh, tie up those laces, get Get on some gear and get ready. It's gonna be fun. But that is it for this little episode. It was just a little uh, catch me up thing for you, but we're gonna close it up here. We got our Deoxys. The Valentine's event is on and we got our Perugly. So pretty exciting uh, Valentine's kitty for myself, but we're gonna close it up here. I hope you had a fantastic Valentine's day. So please scroll down, give me that like, maybe consider subscribing if you're not. And if you are subscribed, be sure to hit the notification button next to the subscription button. So that you're notified of the next adventure. And we'll see you then, Trainters. Stay fabulous. Bye!